good, good. Congratulations on such an incredible show. I'm I'm hooked instantly. Um, the minute I started oh, wow. watching it, <laughs> so it is wow, a wonderful crazy. show. <laughs> I was wondering, um, for people who don't know what the show's about or who your character is, if you could give a little quick introduction. Yeah, of course. So I'm on the show Invasion. Invasion is a show about the world being invaded by extraterrestrials. This is in the vein of a war of the worlds. Um, I play the character Trevante. Trevante is a U.S. Navy SEAL on a mission in the Middle East. And during his mission, he realizes that something is wrong, something is off. And, you know, as he continues on his journey, he begins to realize to his denial that he thinks, you know, that he he gets to realize that there's an invasion of some sort of aliens. Um, and he goes on an incredible journey to try to get home amongst dealing with the aliens and other folks that he meets along the way. And uh, not to give away too many spoilers, but you definitely get to see a man who breaks down slowly and slowly and slowly as a series evolves. Yeah, you, you play an incredible character. Um, I find that like when you first meet him, he's kind of like the rock of his squad. Yeah, he is. He is. He very. He's like he's the anchor. You know, he's he's definitely the chief, the captain. You know, the main guy there, and he definitely, you know, has to be the one that keeps everybody grounded. And you see that at the beginning of the series, which is great because as he goes on, that exterior tends to fade away, slowly shed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just a just a quick question on um him building up the spirit of the squad. But did you know all the words to Moana? Before you went into the script, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know Moana. My my nieces were pretty young at the time. Uh, <laughs> I didn't watch my. Those are my brother's kids, and you know I didn't watch much cartoons of that nature or Disney movies or whatever that was. But I had to discover it, and I did have to learn it. I had it in my headphones that day, trying to get the lyrics right because I, I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is a brilliant scene to get people motivated. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Very interesting choice, but I think it worked. It goes to show the, the vulnerability of, of, of these big, you know, big boy Navy SEALs singing a Disney song. Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously, he uh, again, not to spoil too much, but he does get a lot of that taken away and it's just him and the desert. Yes. Um, yes, and yes. He's, he's definitely, in, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was going to say, how grueling was that to film and and getting into that mindset of that he's just alone in this barren wasteland. Yeah, it's funny you say grueling, but I embraced it. I loved it, you know, because I think it helped inform the character and it helped the process. For sure, for Trevante, it was grueling, without a question. You know, having to be isolated and alienated in the desert with very little resources as you're discovering that the world's being invaded by aliens. Um, but that's something that I definitely, I, I, I took as a gift for an actor, because usually, you know, sometimes you're in a studio working and that is something that, you know, you don't have the, the, the luxuries of dealing with the actual sun, the actual sand, the actual heat. And that's something that I was able to use on this, in my process for this project. Yeah, and it's so wonderfully done. Like you said, even just behind the eyes, you can see how much trouble, like how much frustration and like anger and, and confusion he has. Yeah, you definitely see it behind the eyes because he's dealing with it holistically. There's a lot going on in Trevante's world. Absolutely. Um, and I was just, there was just one scene I really wanted to touch upon quickly, um, not to spoil too much, but there's a beautiful language barrier scene that you have with another mm -hmm. uh, actor. And I was just wondering if you could just go a little bit into that because it's so gorgeous. It, it really encompasses the fact that it's an invasion of aliens. He's kind of an invader himself, but he thinks that the people around him are invaders and hostiles. Very, 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 very astute of you to make that observation, and it is, and I think that's what makes this series incredible because it's so complex, and it's that statement right there is the reason why that scene's so important because it breaks down whatever prejudices we have to individuals, you know, you know, in that world, and it breaks down that we are only just humans, and that you know, we all experience love, whether your love is another language or not, and I think that scene is one of my favorite scenes because um, I got to play so much and, and, and figure things out. There was a lot of ad-libbing in there. It was just a great experience and I'm excited for you to see that scene. 
amazing well i can't wait for people to watch it because honestly it's one of the, it, i had chills watching it so it's so <laughs> <laughs> uh, i hope you. you yeah good luck with the rest of the show and i really hope audiences come to see it because it's really truly is wonderful and thank you for speaking with me today oh sorry thank you for speaking with me i appreciate you take care okay you take care bye ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!